Um. Um. Uh oh. He's gotta slurp me! Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Moth House. This is a horror game about moths, so be warned. I know there's a lot of people that are genuinely terrified of moths, so if that is you, probably don't watch this one or watch this one if you want to get very, very scared. I'm excited to see what this game is all about, and I hope you join us. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game, let's go. A letter? Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here and on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen. But if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request for you. In the attached letter, there is a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species, and then let them out of the house. But it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. Hi there. We got a... One single match? <laughs> I'm holding a single match. Oh god, are there gonna be moths in this house? It's solid atmosphere right off the bat. <laughs> Rats as well, I thought this was only moths! Uh, oh god, that's just- it's- it's already moths? Or is this just- No, that's just dust. It's just dust, that's fine. Use the mouse wheel to change the item? Oh! <laughs> I got a little thing. Here we go. Use tab to open the backpack. Oh, what the fuck? I got tiger moth? Oh, there's moths literally. I don't hate these. I hate moths. I don't have like an irrational fear of moths. I think I have a pretty rational fear of moths that they just suck. Can we all agree? I know. Oh God, there's a big one. Hi there. Okay, we light lighters all the time. We got three forests. I'm just gonna catch them all. Come with me. I'm catching all the moths. There were moths back here as well. It, or unless this was literally dust. Nope. They're moths too. Why why does my dad want me to do this? This is some psycho shit. The fuck is wrong with you, dad? All right, I got them all. Oh god, that's not okay. <laughs> we keep them all in a jar. We got 40 American dagger moths. We're learning. This is like a fucked up Sesame Street. We got a Leoport moth. Six of them, actually. Oh, boy. I hope the this guy is burning his finger every time. Catch the last one! There we go. We're gonna have to catch many, many, many moths. This is not good. They're gonna get bigger. I, I can feel that. What? The, who would hang that up? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's fine. Pick up! What is this? Is this a freaking spear box? Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz. With the average value of around 30 to 60 kilohertz, the moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbles. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Can we... I, I, I would say get more bats, but since recent history, I don't think we can get more bats. I think that's a bad idea. A bat idea, if you will. Uh, buy some bats. No, no, no. Use F. Oh. Oh. I please. I want to keep them on. Oh, here we go. Big moths. They're, they're so large. What? Is that a goose on television? What the fuck? Please? There we go. Uh, I hate this. Why is there a goose on television? What am I watching? Catch the big one. Okay. Just. I'm so glad I don't actually have to put them in a jar. You know, 
why don't we do what normal people do when there's a moth in their bedroom? They just like cover their face with a blanket until it's until you hope it just disappears magically. Why do they always disappear? Isn't that actually more concerning? Because I always just like ignore them until they disappear. But where do they go? <laughs> now that I think about it, it actually makes me more concerned. Oh god, there's a few more. Come here, you little shit! No more. How many do we got? Oh god, we have so many. 71 American dagger moths. We still have a lot left though. What? It's a duck on TV? Excuse me? I'm so confused. Oh my god, there's so many of them, you pieces of shit. What kind of request is this? Go to my house and catch all my moths. What's wrong with you? I would just say fuck you. <laughs> You might be my dad, but I don't give a shit. All right, you last, you tiny bitch. All right, whatever. Oh, what's this? Crowbar. Okay. Cook. No recipes. Are we going to eat them? Are we going to eat the moths? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, God. Let him cook. Oh, we can unblock this now. Wait, is there a door in here? Didn't we? We haven't gone here yet. Oh, good. Oh, these are fucking disgusting. They got like little tails. Yucky bucky. Dude, what the f- Oh, God. Dude, look at those! Look at those! What the heck are those tails? Gratonanos? Gratonotos? Gang is moth? Fuck that one. That's the worst. They're beautiful. Need a key. You got a problem? Wait, was there a moth on the wall there? No, it's fine. Oh boy. More moths. Oh, I hate the big ones. I hate the big... This is fucked. I would never be here. Yucky bucky bucky. I don't think this would scare me so much, but I... <laughs> They're so disgusting, man. They're not even disgusting. Why are moths so scary? Has there ever been research done on this topic? Look at these! They're like spiders. Butterfly superiority. I know butterflies also scare the shit out of some people. Some people are also just as afraid of butterflies. Oh, what are the... Thank you. What is that noise? No, no, no! What?! I'm being eaten? Oh, uh, yuckus buckus. I'm in a cocoon. I'm a moth. There's so many damn moths everywhere, dude. Imagine being here. Imagine being here. I wouldn't, I would scream and cry. Like a little baby. <laughs> oh, God. Why do I have to catch them all? Someone keeping track of all my, all my moths? And the fucked up part is that there's gonna be people that watch this and they're gonna be like, oh, pretty moths. Oh god, they're on the ceiling too! Oh no! Get them off! Alright, well, we cleaned almost everything here. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Oh, there's still a few. I'm, I'm out of here. Oh, they're everywhere. Good god, man. There you go. Spick and span. No more moths. Oh, God. One more. All right. Get me out of here. Oh. No more big moth, please. I'm here to help. I'm here to set you free. Oh, we already read this. Hi. Do I need to go back to where I was, or is this guy going to kill me again? I was over here. I was being a sneaky boy. I need to crouch, maybe? Oh, God. Are these gonna be new moths? I need to collect one of each, right? What? A I'm missing so many of them. I got 400 American dagger moths. <gasps> All right, just get the big ones. Don't worry about the small ones. Mm. What are these noises? Are you hearing that shit? 
Oh god. Is that... Is that these? Making the noise? Is that just all you guys? Stop it. I'm just gonna get all the big ones off the wall because those seem to be the most important ones. Oh, we got a new save recipe. Wait, we can cook something? Can we cook some moths? Can we eat them? Just fucking run. I don't even know what's going on. I want to cook. I want to cook some moths. What can we make? What? <laughs> we have a recipe of moths? Okay, sure. Can I cook this? What is this for? <laughs> Am I gonna eat this? What do I need this for? I'm just gonna keep that in my inventory? Okay, I guess. Is that a moth pizza? Oh no, it's a regular pizza. Oh boy. Give me these. Give me the big ones off the wall. Are we still missing? We're only missing like a handful. We're only missing four moths. We almost got them all. We better get the good ending. I'm never doing this ever again. What was this? The Death's Head Hawk Moth Echerontias is a large and distinctive moth that is found in various parts of the world, including Europe, Asia, and Africa. It gets its name from the skull-shaped pattern on its thorax, which resembles a human skull, skull and has a long been associated with death and the supernatural. This moth has a wingspan of up to 13 centimeters and is primarily brown in color with yellow or orange stripes on its abdomen. All right, so what are these noises? Oh my god, there, there's a new one. I, I needed those, even though I hit them. Dude, look at these up close, man. Disgusting. How many? We only need one more. One more. We need the white witch moth. Uh, any white witch moths in chat? We're gonna let them out in the rain. Isn't that gonna destroy them? That was a new recipe? That was a recipe? Wait, I didn't see it. Do I even want to cook that? Oh, what's this? The comet moth, also known as the Madagascan moon moth, is a species of moth found in Madagascar. I could have guessed that. It is known for its distinctive appearance with large pale green wings that have long sweeping tails that resemble the tail of a comet. The comet moth is considered one of the largest silk moths in the world with a wingspan that can reach up to 20 centimeters. The comet moth is primarily active at night and feeds on the nectar of flowers. While it is not considered a significant pest, the comet moth is highly valued for its beauty and is often sought after by collectors. There's moth collectors. There's a recipe. Okay, well, we're gonna have to cook that one. I mean, I guess there's also serial killers. There's probably more serial killers than there are moth collectors. Ooh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, another recipe? Is that the white one? Ah! Oh, no, 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 no! Well, I'm dead. Goodbye, everyone. Why are you capturing me? I'm being nice. Can I hit it with a crowbar? Okay. Hey, at least we got rid of most of the stuff in here. <laughs> okay. We they don't take any of my moths. We literally only need the white witch moth. Oh, here. In the library. It was upstairs. The white moth here. Is that my dad? <gasps> e. Mason Hart, the famous moth collector, has won the Nobel Prize in Biology for this, his discovery of the Luinga moth. Luingua moth? A new species of moth that can speak human language! The lingua moth? The lingua moth's ability to communicate in English has revolutionized the field of biology and opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart's dedication and passion for moth collection and research have resulted in this groundbreaking discovery, and his work has been recognized as one of the most significant contributions to biology in recent history. Uh, we're gonna have to talk to moths now? It's, get, it's getting worse and worse. 
Okay, well, we're gonna go into the one room that had a key. This door. Yes. Um. Um. Uh-oh. He's got to slurp me! Do I need to talk? <gasps> it's the white moth. It's the... Hawk? Hello, human. I'm the moth king's helper. You see, the king can't speak like a human. Unlike me. I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has disappeared from this house, and the moth king is hungry. He is already tired of eating little moths flying by past him. Once he even once he even almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently. With normal human food, he needs soup. Moth soup. There are many types of moths, and you if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed the moth king. Well, I got just that. You want my soup? Here you go. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough for a king. Make more soup. Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup. So it's better... So it's... It's better will be if you make soup from other ingredients, okay? I will do just that. I will cook all these moths alive if I have to. Hot time. Okay. So this is the one we already did. This is the first recipe. Let's do the next one. This one. Sure, I got everything. Nice. Here you go, I got another one. You like this? Thank you, but the king has not eaten for a long time and two pots of soup is not enough for him. So make another batch of soup. I think he'll have enough. Wait, we definitely have enough recipes. Okay, oh good. Here we go. Next recipe, not this one. Uh, oh no, we need the white moth. Not enough ingre ingredients. Are you kidding me? We need to have the white one. Oh no, but this one we do got, we got as well. Okay. Nice. Wait, where the heck is the white moth? Thank you for feeding the moth king. However, he says that your soups were terrible and he would have been better off starving. I don't want to do this, but I have to follow the king's orders. The Moth King says you killed moths for nothing to make those awful soup. Those soups, he wants to drive you to Moth Hell. Moth Hell is a terrible place for moths, but not only moths get there, but people too. For example, our owner got there. On this, we will have to part. I'm sorry, but there is no choice. Goodbye. No! Uh, I'm going to Moth Hell. What? Excuse me. <laughs> oh God. I don't want to be in Moth Hell. What the fuck? <laughs> Am I a Moth now? Oh no! I am- I have become what I hate the most! No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I wonder if there- is there a, uh, a combination of soups you can give him that he likes? I, I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, right, we're gonna try and get back in and feed it the right soups. So we have every single moth, but we only have one white witch moth. So, I mean, we can cook this one. So there's this one recipe, this. With all of the moths in there. I'm pretty sure that's just the one you need. Like, you need this specific one. There you go. Let's give it to him. Please make soup and feed the king. All right, I got this soup for you that has every single moth in them. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough for a king. Make more soup. Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup, so it's better... So it's... Better if you make more soup. Okay, a different type of soup. Okay, so we're gonna try and make the other ones. Here, Any, maybe they're in the middle here. Are these which ones? 
Oh, these are the witch moths. Let's go. Okay, they're the ones that are in the library. Let's go. Okay, well, with that, we have every single moth. Now we just need to make him some soup. It seems like many people are saying that. You sent you a walkthrough on Discord? Okay, well, now it's already too late. I already made this one. All right, we're just going to keep giving him the one with all of the... All of the moths in it, and hopefully it works. Goes. Here you go. Thank you so much for feeding the Moth King. He really liked your soups. So he has powers, and we can finally leave this old house and find yourself another place where there is normal food. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye. We did it! We pleased the Moth King! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, God. <laughs> what have I done? I have set free a moth the size of a skyscraper. Oh, God. That's not that many. There were way more. <laughs> He's gonna fly straight into the sun. <laughs> the ultimate lamp. There you go. All right. Now, there is one more ending that we quickly can find, which is where we collect all the moths and then just leave. Because that's what our dad wanted us to do. So let's do that because we know where all the moths are. So let's do that real quick and then get the hell out of here. Leave. There you go. So we got all of them. <laughs> and just look at that jar, man. Goodbye. Number, many numbers. Oh, oh, I'm opening the jar. There were way more in there. Excuse me. <laughs> there they go. Goodbye, moths. Go free. And that's it. That's the neutral ending. At least we didn't go to Moth House. Alrighty, well that was Moth House. Uh, definitely by the end, I got kind of desensitized to the moths, but at the start, man, I, I don't know. There's something about moths that are just creepy. Like the way they're hairy with their, like they move so unpredictably. And it's mostly the fact that they go to lamps. Like the whole lamp meme, the, the fact that they go to lights makes them super annoying at night because they always go to your face and they just like, or like flying into your eyeballs and stuff like that. Uh, that's the main thing that makes me uh, upset by moths. But anyway, let me know if you like moths. Probably if you made it all the way over here, you probably don't mind moths too much because otherwise you would have already clicked off the video. I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, just like it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, join us over at twitch.tv slash Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>